In May 2006, a US photo agency who I'd done some work for before asked me if I wanted to go to Namibia to try and get some pictures of Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie who were having their first child. I think they went there because it was such a desolate place and um, for privacy. Um, so I had a quick look um, as to how to get there. The only way to get there was to fly to Namibia via Joburg in South Africa. Um, and there was a coastal town where they were staying called Warvis Bay on near Swakopmund, which was another town, which was uh, a German colonial town. I flew to Windhoek from Joburg. I didn't fly to the coastal town because there were people being arrested, photographers and media being turned back. Brad and Angelina had paid an awful lot of money into charities and um, and so therefore they bought the authorities really. So they were just turning people around. So I flew, I flew to Windhoek, hired a car, drove 400 kilometers to Wolvish Bay, got accommodation. I knew the head of her security, I had his number. Um, he didn't know I was there until I gave him a call. Uh, the agency said to me, if you can get him to try and tell you how to get the first pictures of them, then it's worth $200,000 to him, which I relayed to him. He said, let's meet in a bar. Well, there's only one bar. There's only one hotel, really, an old colonial hotel in Swakopmund. We met there, had a drink. I um, offered him the uh, money. He just laughed um, because he'd been with Angelina for years. Um, I knew this and I knew, he was, I knew he'd refuse, but you know, I offered him the money. Um, and Angelina actually called whilst we were uh, sitting in the uh, lobby or the bar. Um, and then we left it at that. He basically said, look, just don't get caught because, you know, these, um, the Namibian security guys aren't friendly. You know, he said, I, 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 I'm friendly to you, but, you know, if, if you get caught with a camera, these guys are not going to, you're not going to get your cameras back for stars. And then whatever else happens to you, you know, if you're in the middle of nowhere in Namibia, work that one out for yourself. Um, so I kind of like kept low profile. A few days before I was meant to go back, I saw one of the cars going towards the beach. I was about half a mile away and got pictures of her on the beach with her brother and son. Uh, it happened to be the day before she gave birth. Um, which, And then after that, it was just a case of getting out of Dodge once I got those pictures um, and they were um, published. I thought I'd best get out of there. I did actually fly from Wolvish Bay Airport back to Joburg. Um, it was a relatively successful trip. I mean, the um, desolation of the place has to be seen to be believed. Um, although there was a company that did quad bike rides on the dunes um, between Wolvish Bay and Swakopmund, which is just the Trans Kalahari Highway goes right through the desert. And there's a company that does quad bike racing or quad bike trips. Well, it's finished here now. I've got the pictures um, in Star Magazine. It's been, I say, quite successful, but pretty boring. As you can see, there's nothing here at all. It, it's just featureless. What kind of language is that? See you later.